On this day 12 years ago, Lakers late, great Kobe Bryant ruptured his Achilles tendon against the Warriors. Let's break this down. We see him plant his foot here in a dorsiflex position with the left tibia pointing towards the ground. This puts a significant eccentric load or stretch on the Achilles tendon. And then as he goes to push off, the tendon snaps, leading to the pop. On the next step with the left foot, he's unable to push off at all and goes straight down to the ground. He then grabs his leg, tries to activate the full Achilles complex, but is unable to do so. Kobe says right after he goes down, Yeah, I feel like I could. And here you can see him ask Harrison Barnes, did you kick my leg? And you actually see Barnes, a rookie at the time, saying something along the lines of, I didn't kick you. The most telltale sign of an Achilles tendon rupture is when an athlete says, it felt like somebody kicked, kicked me in the yeah. back of my leg. This is a pathognomonic sign of a classic Achilles rupture. The fastest way to test for an Achilles tendon rupture is the Thompson's test, which includes laying someone flat and squeezing their calf muscle. If you observe plantar flexion during the squeeze, the Achilles is intact. If there's been a complete rupture, the plantar flexion will be absent. Do you feel that all the minutes you've been playing may have contributed to this? It's more than likely that Kobe had chronic micro injuries to this tendon and over the course of the last couple weeks. Leading up to this game, Kobe had played 47 minutes in four out of the last six games. He played at least 40 minutes 30 times in this season, which is more than the past two seasons combined. Many believe that this injury was a key precursor to the evolution of the load management era. We miss you, Mamba. Thank you for the Mamba mentality.